I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and on these shorts, we're answering comments made to my videos on the my YouTube channel, which is Ask Dave. Okay, this is from SenCCENC946 on sourcing out grounding number 1241. Question: Can you cover ground? I mean, can you do a when in doubt add another ground kind of thing? I'm going to kind of skip out of that thing. The best practices for ham radio grounding are in this book. Get a copy. It's not that expensive. You can get this on Amazon. You can get it from the ARRL. If you're Amazon Prime, this qualifies for free shipping. This will tell you everything you need to know. Now, is it a little confusing? Yes, it is. Basically, what you want is something in your station. I use a copper rod about that long, or a copper pipe. And everything in the station is connected to it with strap right to that one place. And you can see, for example, right here, this is the strap for my transceiver right here. And this goes down to that bar. That bar is connected with a number two stranded insulated, THHN insulated number two uh, conductor. And it attaches to a panel that's outside the house in a weather protected case. And that's where all my lightning arresters are. And that ground connects directly to that ground by just a few feet of cable, okay? And then those panels, the panel is grounded, okay? So that takes care of that part. I'm still working out what I need to do with household ground. It is connected via bonding. The two ground rods are connected. But I also need to do something about the voltage difference that can arise in the green wire ground in the event of a close by uh, lightning strike. It's my experience that direct strikes, every bet is off. Usually the strike that would bother you would be a nearby strike, or you might get a little tiny piece of one of the big strikes, okay? So that's grounding. If you have a question whether or not you need to ground something, the answer is yes. Do not, under any circumstances, defeat the third wire green wire ground. If you have a plug that has three prongs, do not. I don't care what anybody says, anybody else says, because I know other people have said defeat that. Do not defeat a safety ground for your own safety. Do not do that, okay? If you don't think I'm being emphatic enough about this, I cannot emphasize the importance of safety. You're playing with electricity here, and you can deal with some pretty high voltages. So until we next meet, 73.